Thank you, live Mark. Hi guys, pre-recorded Mark here. Um, if you're here at Lyft, then I hope you're having a great time. If you're at home watching this video after the event, then I hope uh, you're okay and that we will see you when I and Sam come visiting on Friday afternoon. So this week, we're going to be carrying on our look at some of the parables that Jesus told. And this week's parable is based on the Good Samaritan, which can be found in Luke chapter 10, sorry, verses 25 to 37. John was glued to his phone as he took a shortcut through the local park. His dad had told him not to go that way. There had been several muggings over the past year, but John was sure he'd be fine. As he turned the corner, three lads blocked his way. Give us your phone, one of them said. What? No, I'm not giving. Before he could finish, he was punched in the face. Knocked to the ground, another kick ensured that John was completely out of action. He felt hands going through his pockets and wrenching his phone from his grip. John groaned. He tried to move, but couldn't. He could taste blood in his mouth. He lay on the floor and wished he'd listened to his dad. Then he heard a woman talking. The sound was coming towards him. What? No, I'm on my way to the station, Julian. Tell the Prime Minister I'll be there in time for the vote. John knew that voice. He'd heard it loads of times on the TV. It was Sheila Wheeler, the local MP. The voice stopped abruptly, and John felt a face bent close to his. Oh, um, are you okay? She paused. Then John heard footsteps walking away from him. What? No, Julian, just some gang member. No one important. I'll call the police when I'm on the train, if I remember. After what seemed like forever, John heard the rolling of wheels and a gurgling sound. The wheels stopped, and a woman's voice started to speak. It sounded like she was talking to a baby. Oh no! Who's this, Chloe? Someone's hurt! What shall we do? Shall we help him? Yes, thought John. Help me, please. There was a cuff of fuffle. Oh, Chloe, don't be sick. I haven't got any spare clothes. A baby started crying. Um, listen, I can't help you just now. I need to sort my daughter out. The wheels rolled away, and silence reigned again. It was getting cold, and John's whole body was hurting. John? What happened? Can you hear me? It was another voice he knew. Was this... Sam? The last time he'd seen Sam, he told him something unrepeatable. Everyone did. Sam was the kind of kid no one hung around with. Ambulance, please. My friend's been hurt. Okay, guys. So it's at this point that I'll hand back over to Live Mark, and I will say thank you for listening, if indeed you still are. Back to you, Live Mark. <laughs>